Welcome to Fanatics Live, where we virtually connect you to your favorite athletes right at home. Tonight, we will be meeting with fans, signing autographs, and engaging in live Q&A. Now, let's welcome our host. What is good, everybody? I'm happy to be back here on Fanatics Live. I'm your host, MC, and last week I had the pleasure of entering into the world of Cincinnati with a uh, legend, Johnny Bench. But today we're switching things up. We're heading on over to the NFL, and we're going to talk with the number one draft pick from 2020, Mr. Joe Burrow. For our viewers at home, show some love for the Tiger King, and maybe that comment will get shown on camp on the screen in just a little bit. So without any more delay, I know everybody has been waiting for this show. Let's bring on Joe Burrow. How's it going? Hey, Joe, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I know you've had a, a, a little bit of a long day signing some autographs for us, but how are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. We're hanging in there. Good. Okay. Well, I have just a few questions of my own before I give it to the fans. We just want to catch up with you a little bit, see what's going on. I'm an SEC girl myself, so I, I do know about you. I know about your time at LSU, but you had the pleasure of playing for two really amazing programs in college football at Ohio State and at LSU. But what were some of your favorite traditions at both school, like game day traditions? Um, Ohio State, um, we called these quick cows. It was this little thing we did before uh, games. That was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> LSU, we weren't exactly allowed to do this. But when the band played Neck uh, at the national championship game, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of LSU fans who are watching will agree that that is maybe one of their favorite traditions, but we can't, we can't officially admit that, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so your Heisman speech, you know, broke history in more than, more than one way, uh, and you dedicated your time to a platform that you really, really care about and a cause that you care about. Um, and it led to nearly $500,000 being raised for the Athens County Food Pantry. What inspired you to kind of go off script and dedicate the biggest moment for you at the moment um, to this cause? You know, I really just wanted to you know, express my love for my hometown and, and give them a shout out on the biggest stage. And, you know, I just explained things that I experienced, just talked from the heart about you know, my hometown and, and then went from there. Yeah. I was reading up about everything and uh, your parents were, nobody saw it coming. So I think you shocked everybody, but it was a good shock, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So for more information on the Athens County food pantry, how to donate either financially or with food donations, or even how to volunteer, you can visit their website at athenscountyfoodbank.org. Okay. How was that? Did I do good? Not as good as your husband. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. So we have five fans, five, well, some are, some are multiples. We have five groups that are on the line that they're live dialing in and they want to ask you a couple of questions. Are you ready to meet them? Bring them on in. Okay. Up oh, first we have Clinton and Emmerich. They're calling in from Middletown, Ohio. Uh, and their favorite LSU tradition is actually Colin Baton Rouge, which has been stuck in my head all day. Let's bring on Clinton and Emmerich. How's it going? How's it going? What's going on? Oh, oh. Um, we just wanted to see what, like, what was it when you got drafted number one? What was that feeling? Like, what was going through your head? You know, it was exciting, but. You know, I was in my in my living room in my house, so you know there wasn't a lot it wasn't a lot to do. So I just yeah. you know celebrated it with my family, and you know it was a lot of hard work and, and a dream come true for me. So it was really just the stepping stone to the next part of my life. Awesome. Well, we're we're there every Sunday. <laughs> when oh, yeah. You're, when you're in town. Oh yeah. That's awesome. I love having you guys there then. So well, let's go ahead and get uh, this helmet signed for you guys, Clint and Emmerich. And yeah, was, a lot of the times we ask guys, like, how was it at the draft? And most times they're like, I didn't want my sweat to show and I didn't want to fall. <laughs> so at least show you didn't have to worry about falling in front of a huge crowd or, ooh, looking nice. All right. Cool. There you go. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, you got it. Bye, guys. Okay, not too bad, right? Not too bad. But I'm happy to announce that we have a lot of girl power on the call today. So up next, we have Casey. She's calling in from Waterloo, Illinois. And if she were in the NFL, she said her position would be the water girl. It's the best seat in the house. Uh, and you can, you're can you actually going to help out the players. You're, 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 a, you're a people's person. So let's bring on Casey. Hi, Joe. Hi. Casey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. My question was, what is your favorite song to jam or dance out to when no one else is watching? So, like, my my embarrassing pleasure song? Is exactly. That what you, yeah. Um, Juicy by Doja Cat. Nice. I probably shouldn't have said that. I didn't want anybody to know that, but I like that song. <laughs> well, that's what I was looking for. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, what's your what's your guilty pleasure song? Oh no, we're not here for that. Mm -mm. Oh come on, <laughs> come on, you dial it in. I got questions for you too. <laughs> I think mine mine's "Love Shack" by the B52s. That's a good one. <laughs> we're getting that jersey signed for you, Casey. Awesome, looking great. Well, thank you so much for dialing in today. We appreciate your time. Let's check it out, thank Joe. You. There you go. Awesome. Love it. Thanks, Casey. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. Another girl back to back, like Drake said, but this girl, she's dripped out in like the best gear I've ever seen. She's calling in from Burlington, Kentucky. And when she grows up, she wants to be an attorney that actually works with the NFL players. So let's bring mm -hmm. on Isabel. Hi, Joe. Isabel, how's it, how's it going? I'm going good. How are you? I'm good. I like your hat. Thank you. I got it at the prize shop. I was at one of the games. Looks like it looks like the one I got on draft night. Yeah. So my question is, as a rookie, you've learned from mistakes you've made in the past. However, is there one driver play that you would change? What would you have done differently to result in a different? That's a good question. Um, so there's a play that sticks out in my head against the Colts the last play of the game where I threw the interception, um, you know, they kind of fooled me a little bit with, with the defensive look, I would have checked to a different play in that situation. And, you know, I learned from that and, and actually saw that look a couple more times throughout the year and made the check. So we, we learned from it and, and moved on. I was at that game as well. Oh yeah. It, it was, was my birthday. Oh, well, happy, happy late birthday. I was, <laughs> Thank it was you. I was mad because it, it was, was an indoor, Stadium and it was windy. I couldn't believe it. They didn't shut they didn't shut the roof for me. Well, it was my, my first that? away game, and I was so happy to be there. And it was just awesome seeing my first uh, game with you in it. Well, hopefully we can win the next one you're at. Oh, you won the last one I was at. Yeah. Well, there you go. You made up for it, Joe. Don't don't beat <laughs> yourself up too bad. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Isabel. It's good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. We have a whole family on the line. They, they dialed in and I was like, wow, they, they brought the power. This is Lyle and the Lindsay fam. They're calling in from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And their favorite game day tradition is, of course, the tailgating. So let's yeah. bring on the Lindsay fam. Hey. Hey, Joe. What's up? What's up? You might be able to see yourself in the background. I don't know if uh, <laughs> a little a hey. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yes, indeed. Well, look, first we want to say thank you for not only uh, being a huge part of the best season that we've ever seen, but probably the best season in all of college football. So thank you for that, man. We're, we enjoyed every second of it. Well, I appreciate um, it. It's yeah, man. Like, that make it fun. Uh, it was great. Well, our question, I got a good one for you, man. Uh, we want to know how much our good friend Derek Panamski played a role in – uh, for you, Coach O, and the entire football team for LSU. So Panamski's the guy, you know, I still talk to Panamski all the time. He's one of my good friends. He's the guy that you text when you need something done. If you need, you know, you want to pick the uniforms we're wearing this week, you want anything, you text Panamski. He's, he's a, a big part of what we have going on down there, um, and he's great at his job. He sure is. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Good deal. Joe, uh, I have a favor. It's worth asking. Can you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I might. I might. <laughs> Awesome. What's, the, what's the tag? What's the tag? Lyle, L-I-L-E underscore Lindsay. Okay, that's simple. Maybe, maybe we can make it happen for you, Lyle, but I know we can get this, this helmet side for you. Awesome. Appreciate it, Joe. Thank you, guys. Nice to meet you. NFL, man, we watch you as much as we can from Baton Rouge, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Nothing y'all. It's nice to see you. Be Bye. safe. Bye. Wow, man, they, they surprised me. I didn't know we were bringing that level of energy today. And then up last, but not least, these these folks have dialed into a couple of our shows before, and they're, they're just getting to meet everybody. They're learning about every single sport that we have on here. We have Emma, Adam, Ari, and Aaron, and they are calling in from New York, New York, and they are our youngest callers by far on the air tonight, so let's bring them on. Hi, Mr. Burrow. Hi, Mr. Burrow. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you guys. How you doing? We're good. 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 So the question that we wanted to ask you is my brothers in front of me are very professional runners. They're athletes. And we wanted to know, we know sometimes it's a sore subject for athletes to talk about injury, but during when you're injured or when you can't play, you're 100%, how do you stay motivated to keep moving forward? You know, that's a good question. It, it gets tough at times. Um, the grind every day is, is tough and it takes a lot of mental toughness to do it, but you know, everyone has goals ahead of them that they want to reach. And I just stay focused on those goals and, you know, I reach, I've reached some of them already. And the, the feeling that you get when you reach those goals, there's nothing like it. Um, so just, just keep following those goals and, and putting one foot in front of the other every single day. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Thank you. Let's get this awesome jersey signed for you guys. This one's pretty sweet. I'll I'll show y'all a video in a second of how this one came about. But I'm so glad we got to talk to you and see y'all again. Great to see you too. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Wow, looks amazing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? So pretty actually, cool. speaking of this jersey, I wanted to showcase the artist behind the jersey. So let's let's talk a little bit about David Arrigo. So I have a clip that shows how this jersey came about. So artist David Arrigo has been painting professionally for over 25 years, and he's one of the few artists that can boast that he has worked with every professional league in North America. Arrigo's bold and unique style is very recognizable, and his work has been featured at numerous Super Bowls, NHL, MLB All-Star Games, and three Winter Olympics. You can view more of Arrigo's work at davidarrigo.com and be on the lookout for some of his work at fanaticsauctions.com in the coming months. But check that out. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? That is pretty cool. I like that. I mean, it looks like a picture. I don't know how anybody can do that. I can't really draw a stick figure. But pretty sweet. So thank you, David. And we appreciate you uh, show, showing us some of your work tonight. Okay. I think I have enough people on the line for us to do a little final wave, right? So let's bring all of our guests back on. And let's get Sorry, Casey. <laughs> let's everybody give a final wave to Joe and say bye. Thanks so much for dialing in today. It was awesome to have all of you on. Perfect. Okay. That's it for the live questions, but we have a couple more coming at you from social media. So we put we put the question out there. Ask Joe Burrow anything. And these are a couple of the, the good questions we got. So up first is a Rudd underscore 14. So what does he want to ask you? Hi, my name is Aiden Rudlick, and I'm from Gastonia, North Carolina. My question is, besides winning the national championship, what is your favorite moment at LSU? Um, yeah, I heard him. It was, uh, there were so many of them. I would have to say going on the road and beating Alabama was, it was a lot of fun. Of course yeah. it was. Um, especially since it was on the road. It's one thing if you get the win at home, but, um, right. going on the road was a lot of fun. Yeah. I went to Ole Miss and, but 
back in the times where we were we were pretty good and we beat them back to back. We beat them at home in Oxford, then we turned around and went to Tuscaloosa the next year and beat them there. It was pretty fun, I gotta say. That that's a really good feeling when you take down okay. another one like that. Yeah. Okay, up next is JKO. SCIW, I'm not even going to attempt at pronouncing your user tag on Instagram. Let's see what he's got to ask you. Hey, Joe. First of all, great name is my name is also Joe. I'm originally from the western suburbs of the Chicagoland area, but currently just living outside of St. Louis. As a current men's volleyball coach, I like to preach the importance of film to my guys. So my question for you is, on average, how many hours per week do you watch film of yourself? And on average, how many hours of a week do you watch film of the opposing team? Uh, thank you for the time, and I hope the recovery and rehab process has been going well. Looking forward to seeing you back out there. I appreciate it, Joe. Um, you know, I don't think – I never really count the number of hours that I watch. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that's uh, the right way to think about watching film. I think you should watch film until you feel prepared to play and, and, and feel good about where you're at. Where you're at. Um, in practice as well as your preparation for game week. So I never really count the, the number of hours that I watch. Yeah, do you watch, do you think even evenly about yourself versus the team you're playing that week? Or what is um, that? I, de I definitely watch more of the team. Um, yeah. That I'm playing and just kind of breeze through practice um, and then and then get on to, to game fill. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Good question, Joe. Hopefully you can take that back to your volleyball team. And last but not least, we have Marissa underscore 27 underscore 16 on Instagram. So what does she want to ask you? Hey, Joe. Hope recovery is going well. My name is Marissa. I'm from New York. And my question to you is, with the upcoming draft, how would you feel about a possible reunion with Jamar Chase from LSU? Hope you have a great offseason and can't wait to see you back out there on that field in 2021. You know, I'd love to play with Jamar. Uh, <laughs> he's a great player. We, we're we still in contact all the time. We talk every now and then. And he's a great dude and a great player. I'd love to have, have him on the team. Yeah, I'm sure those little reunions, um, you support them wherever they go, obviously. But those, those reunions that you're not really expecting, but at the same time, you wouldn't be mad if they happened. I'm sure that's, that's really fun to look forward to. Okay, now's my turn to put you in the hot seat. But before we get started, let's roll a quick word from our sponsor. Oh, I don't think our sponsor clip made it into the show, but tonight's show is brought to you by Fanatics, your one-stop shop for officially licensed fan gear. You can shop by league, team, or player on fanatics.com and take advantage of our special offer. All right, let's let's just act like that didn't happen. It's technical. <laughs> we're we're in 2021. We're gonna take it with stride. So, are you ready for the rapid fire hot seat? Let's do it. Okay. Favorite cartoon? SpongeBob. Song you can play on the guitar that is not free falling. <laughs> That's the only one I got. That's the only one I can play. Not even Happy Birthday. Nope. That's all I got. Oh my gosh. Okay, who day or Mike the Tiger? Even. You can't make me choose between those two. Come on now. <laughs> I know. I was just seeing if I could if I could get something <laughs> out of you. Something that you do every single day. I mean, do you want I don't know. I brush my teeth every day. That's pretty Good. lame. But Good. No, Chris Carson said the same exact thing. So I'm really <laughs> glad that dental hygiene is being taken seriously in the NFL. Good job, guys. Appreciate that. Okay. Hot dog or corn dog? I hate both of them. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't like it. I don't know. That's all, Ooh. that's all I can say about it. You're very passionate about that answer. Yeah. I've been passionate about my dislike for hot dogs for a long time. Okay. Favorite Joe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have one coming to the top of my head. Like like a cup of Joe or Trader Joe's or... I've never been to Trader Joe's. 
I don't, I don't. Average Joe's Gym. I like that. I like Dodgeball. That's a good movie. Okay. Hey, look. We, we got go. creative. We put our heads together. We got an answer. I like it. How do you pronounce the word on the screen? Caramel. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. All right. We're going to go with it, everybody. We're going to go with it. Okay. Speaking of caramel, what's a game day tradition that you never skip? Caramel apple suckers. I haven't been doing it in the NFL, though, too much. Oh, uh, come on. Let's keep it alive. Yeah. I figured having a sucker pregame when you're a professional athlete probably isn't the best idea, but I did it for about 10 years. Um, gave it up this year. Though. It worked out for you. Okay, this one's a little jab. Don't get too mad at me. Who wore it better, Joe Burrow or Slim Shady? Me, for sure. Look at that. That's awesome. I thought about doing it again, but you know, I was convinced otherwise by oh, some people. Come on. Yeah. Just give it one more go. Make a fashion statement. It is pretty cool. Okay, and I always like to end it with a little fun game. Let's see if I can get you to do it. Do your best Ed Orgeron impersonation. Go Tigers. <laughs> Classic. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. <laughs> we got to get some, uh, some closed captions on that just so we know what is actually being said. But good job. Yeah. Good job. I'm, sure, I'm sure you just learned to understand what he's saying after a little bit of time, right? It was a lot easier my second year than it was my first. I'll just say that. Yeah, it took a little bit of time to get used to it. But, hey, he's he's a winning coach, so you can't get right. mad at him for it. Yeah. All right, Joe. We appreciate the time that you spent with us today on Fanatics Live. So good luck out there. Thanks for meeting with us, and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye, Joe. All right, everybody. Shout out to our viewers for tuning in. Shout out to our guest who dialed in and got to meet him on the line. We will be back again next week with another Joe, Joe Montana, the comeback kid. He will be on February 2nd, so make sure not to miss that broadcast. It will be a fun one. To watch our previous shows and learn more about how to get involved, you can go to fanatics.com backslash live. And that is all the time that we have this evening. So thanks, everybody. Stay safe and have a good night.